Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. So I bought the cheapest beehive on Amazon. I've got two hives sitting right here. One of them is the May Beehive that I built in a previous video and went over with assembly and all that. So if you wanna set a symbol one, I'll include a link to the May Bee, uh, Beehive assembly video. But anyhow, uh, two of them sitting here. One of them is $103 and one of them is the May Beehive, which was $123. So I was researching, trying to find another hive since I'm getting another nuke colony in in April. So I need another hive to get started. So I researched and found the cheapest one on Amazon. So let's break them down, compare them, and see if we can find where that $20 difference lies between the two hives. So I'm gonna take them apart piece by piece and we'll look at each component individually. And just for reference, both of them are eight frame Langstroth hives, deep brew boxes, and medium honey supers. So we'll look at the top covers first, and for reference, the hives are going to stay in their same position throughout the video. So the one on the left is going to stay on the left, one on the right is going to stay on the right. No funny business, no monkey business going on. Let's look at the top covers, both of them metal clad. Similar construction. The only difference I see is the nails on the one on the left are flathead nails. And the one on the right has a more rounded head nail, but for all intents and purposes, very, very close to identical. Now we'll remove the top covers and we'll check out the inner cover. And give you another shot of the top covers before I move them away. You can see the wood thickness is, is the same, construction is exactly the same. So right, we'll move them now, we'll look at the inner covers. All right, now we'll check out the inner cover. Don't really see any difference between them. It's even the same, same shade of wood between the two of them. Construction is the same. So nothing, nothing big difference on them. Looks very, very close the same, not exactly the same. So now we'll look at the honey supers. Let's look at the frames between the two and the foundation. You see, it looks almost identical, if not identical. So they're probably stamped out in the same place. Foundations look look the same. Got about the same same amount of wax on them. Just a little smidgen on there. So no, no real discernible difference between the two. Just for reference, let you look at them right there. And here's the side view of the Honey Super boxes. So very similar. Handles all the way around. No discernible difference between the two, except for one of them had a little heavier wax coating. And the screws, the pilot holes and stuff had a deeper countersink for the head of the Phillips screw compared to the other. A little bit shallower. You couldn't really countersink the screws as far. So that's the uh, only discernible difference in the Honey Supers. So now we'll check out the Queen Excluder. As you can see, both of them have plastic Queen Excluders. It appears to be identical as well. Same thickness, same everything. So I'll remove all this and we'll get down and look at the brood boxes. Now down to the brood boxes, you can see, very similar, very similar construction. So let's look at some of the foundation in the brood boxes. So again, just like the Honey Super, identical. You can see the, got a little wax coating in there. You can see that in the sun right there, both of them, the wax coating. One may have a smidge more than the other, but I think that's more just manufacturing variations than it is, uh, you know, what they wanted. But here's the frames. Again, identical. Just uh, maybe a little different coloration on the wood cut from a different tree, different part of a tree, which is to be expected. So I'll turn the, uh, the brood boxes on the side. We'll look at them again on the side. Brood boxes on the side to check out the construction. See, same dovetail construction. You know, not as deep a countersink hole in the one box. A little deeper countersink hole on this box. But otherwise, same, same handles on the sides all the way around. No discernible difference. One of them's got a little more wax than the other one. But nothing, nothing standing out so far major. Now the foundation or bottom board is where things get interesting. Okay, the one on the right, you can see it appears to be solid wood all the way through. And you can see the one on the left is plywood. See the plies in the wood right there where it's glued together, laminate. 
So what they did on the one on the right, is you can see the seams of the wood. So they took solid pieces of wood and glued them together to make a solid a solid board, you know, with multiple multiple six inch pieces of wood. So I noticed that between the two. And besides that, you know, that's really the only difference I can see at this point. It's just this one's plywood and this one is one by sixes. They're laminated together to make a, a solid board all the way through. So yeah, that's the only only major difference on the construction side of the box anyhow. Now let's recap real quick before I reveal the names on the hives to show you which one's the lower priced hive. Or this hive had rounded nails at the top. This one had flat nails at the top. This one had heavier wax coating on it. And this one had the bottom board that had multiple solid pieces of wood laminated together to make a solid bottom board. And this one had a plywood bottom board. So that was the only major differences. So do you know which one's the cheaper hive? Can you tell? All right. Let's reveal it. That's the maybe hive on the left with the plywood bottom board. And then this one, no namer. Actually, it does have a name. It's a Poly B eight frame hive. So they don't put their logo on it. Maybe does. So for the $20 difference, does it cost $20 to put, a, put your logo on the bottom of the box? Or is it just because Poly B is new, new to the market and trying to get their product out there? I don't know. But if you're looking for a box, current price is the time of filming, one one hundred three and one twenty three. So twenty dollars between the two, difference. So you know, in these economic times, if you can save twenty bucks, save yourself twenty bucks. So I was trying to put this video out so folks that are wanting to get into bees this year can get them a little bit of deal on the high before maybe this becomes popular or they change their price strategy. So, you know, a logo and a plywood bottom board and then no logo and a solid, solid pine one by six is put together to make a bottom board. So that's the major difference there. The logo and the, and the bottom boards is the only thing. Everything else looks almost identical. I mean, not really enough to, to scoff at. And so hope you liked today's video. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. Questions or anything, please put in the comment section. And if you're not subscribed, we'd greatly appreciate a subscription from you. Thank you for watching the Off Mountain Homestead. Y'all have a good day.